Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure out of the office auto replies for uh, Outlook.com, Office 365, Webmail. So that way, so if you're going to be on vacation or out of the office and you want to have your emails automatically replied to so you don't have to check them or maybe you're not able to check them, you could set that up pretty easily in Outlook. So what you want to do is first thing you want to go to see your Outlook settings, one little gear icon here. And then you want to go to view all Outlook settings. And then from the mail section, you want to find automatic replies. And then you want to enable it. So if you don't check this box, it'll stay on until you manually come and turn it off. But if you check this box, then you could decide the dates that you want this automatic reply to be sent. And that way, if you forget to turn it off after this time expires, it'll turn it off for you so you don't have to worry about remembering it. Okay, and then you could also have your calendar block. So if somebody tries to schedule a meeting during this time period, um, it'll say you're unavailable and it'll decline any new invitations for events. So if somebody sends you a meeting request, it'll decline it saying you're out of the office. And same thing applies here, decline and cancel any meetings during this period. Okay, so if we don't do that, it'll get rid of those options there. So it's up to you if you want to set this auto thing on or off and if you want to use any of these options. And so what you have here is you have send automatic replies inside your organization. So if it's like a work environment, you could have one auto reply for internal email addresses. So that way you could have it be different for people from the outside. So you have this um, other checkbox here. So if you want to have something different from outside email addresses, you could check this here. And then this option. So if you want to have replies sent only to people in your contact list or people section here, that will do that. Otherwise, you know, like outside people like spam and stuff like that, it won't send them this auto reply because they're not going to be in your contact list here. So once again, that's up to you. So we're going to set this up for outside use. So let's set up a message here. So let's see. You know, then you could even do your typical, you know, your formatting if you want to do that kind of thing, change colors and so on. Okay, so we'll save this. Okay, it's telling you so it's automatically turned on. You could turn it off right from there. So we'll just close that out, close this out. And now we'll go send this guy an email here and see what happens. Let's send a message here, send. Now we'll wait for the auto reply to come back from its Outlook account. So you can see the email came into the Outlook account here. So we'll refresh this. So here's the automatic reply. It says automatic reply with the subject that we sent. And there's our message with the bold and the red. So it worked just like just like we planned. Then if you're done, you could just go back into your settings here. If you didn't set it to turn off automatically. Go back to mail, automatic replies, turn that off, save it, and you're back to normal. All right, pretty simple. So if you ever need to do that, now you know how to do it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.